Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Node.js command line applications and how to put one together, the very basic steps of this. Uh, before we jump in though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos also. Okay, let's, I've uh, got a command line here. Let's open up the code bre um, a code editor and let's do the first step. You need to have Node installed for this. If you haven't got Node, you need to go and search for Node.js and get that installed. Once you have, you can do an npm init minus y and this will create a package.json for us which defines our application uh, if i go into that see if i close that off and see what we've got here so we can get rid of scripts here and stuff but we've got things like the name and the version description of our application and it's got a main here for index.js so we're going to have a file here index.js that will that will be running our commands that we want to run from our command line application um, we want to set up a little bit differently though. We want to create a folder in here. We want to create a bin folder. So this is a convention. Don't necessarily have to do this, but by convention, it's best best practice. Um, so we'd have a bin folder and we'd put our index.js in there. And for the demo here, we're just going to do a console.log um, just to show that it's working. So we'll just put a little hello in there. Uh, okay. Now, if I come back in here, we can see we've got main pointed to it, but it's now in the bin folder. So let's change that to be in the bin folder so it's got the right place. We also want to add another, an additional uh, section in here called bin. And for this part, we want to give it the name that um, will invoke our command line application. So it can be different to the name of your package. Um, so let's just call it welcome. Well, let's just call it whelp. And again, we want to point that to this index.js file. So it's in the bin folder index.js. And give it a comma in there. All right, so that is our package.json setup. So Node should be able to find this now. When we type whelp, it'll look in here. It'll come and look in bin. A little execute index.js. And in index.js, we're going to be running this. Now, there's one little bit of magic source that we need to put in here, um, which is this line here, uh, which is going to be user. So it's hashtag explanation mark user bin env node. And that just allows, um, when we're running this, it allows Windows or Mac or whatever to know that we're running a node application here. So we just need to add this line here. Right, with that in place, we can now come back in here. Uh, we want to be able to run this from anywhere, so we need to install it globally on our computer. So we would do an npm install minus g. And now we should be able to invoke that. So back in our package.json, we added the bin folder, the bin section, sorry, and welk. Now we should be able to invoke that from anywhere. So if I type in welk, we get our console.log hello coming out. Uh, and if I move back up, say to the root, and I do welk, we're still getting it there. So it's, it's globally available to us, um, and it's going to run any of the commands in here. All right, there you go. Just the very basics of setting up. You know, the main thing there is you've got your package.json, you've got a bin section, you put your, your file in a bin folder and you add this little bit of magic source on the top of your JS file there. Uh, and then do an npm install minus G and you can access it from wherever you want. And yep, go from there, whatever you want to create in your application. I might do a few more in terms of um, you know passing in arguments and what else you can do with uh, command line applications. All right, if you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if not. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time.